Joey, calm down. Calm down, boy. It's all right. Calm down. It's okay. It's all right. No, I don't have anything for you. It's all right. Good boy. Good boy. Stu, do you want to come over here? Come over here. If I can get him to sit the stage, we're going to give him a sugar cube. So you do, I have one. Just hold your hand out and let him come to you. <laughs> All right, good boy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> no more, no more sugar cubes. Okay. Well, as you can see, Joey is a beautiful and innovative design. And as we were talking, it does take three actors and four puppeteers to bring Joey to life. Each of them is given a physical task, and they're in charge of an emotional indicator. And I'd like to break all that down for you, if you don't mind. All right. First, our head puppeteer. His physical task is to deal with Joey's sideline. Because where Joey's looking tells us to some degree what he is thinking. Now... The ears are the emotional indicator for the head puppeteer. Mm -hmm. Now, we love it when Joey's ears are forward, because that means he's feeling attentive, alert, friendly, curious. But at any second, those ears could whip back. And we don't know if it's another horse that may be aggravating him or a fly or I guess a person. Calm down, calm down. We don't like it when Joey gets agitated like that. Okay, it's all right. It's okay. So, now the heart puppeteer's physical task is to deal with the weight of Joey. No actual weight goes through the puppet's legs. All the weight of Joey goes through the puppeteer's legs. So every time a hoof hits the floor, you, the audience, should feel the weight of Joey and the muscle moving Joey forward. Now, the emotional indicator for the heart puppeteer is one of the smallest mechanisms, but most important, and that is the breath. Because the breath lets us know that Joey is alive. So, for instance, Joey's breaths could be high and shallow, which would indicate that he's upset, that something is bothering him, he's very aggravated. His breaths could become deep and raggedy, which would mean or show us that he's feeling exhausted or overworked from the war. And then sometimes Joey just gets an attitude, and it's more of a snort and very forceful. <laughs> and it's a bit of a comedic moment for him, I think. Um, certainly, last but not least, we have the hind puppeteer. Now, the hind puppeteer's emotional indicator is the tail. Now, we searched high and low for material that would work well, look lifelike, move with air. And originally, we were going with a foam substance. Um, which worked beautifully, but it was highly flammable, so not a good match. <laughs> so we ended up going with the material you see here called Tyvek, which interestingly enough is the same material that Australian dollar is made out of. So it's very durable and very strong, but moves well with air. And believe me, I've seen Joey in many a promotional photo shoot give this boy a fan, and he will give Beyonce a run for her money. <laughs> um, now, the physical task for the hind puppeteer is to show us the power and muscle in the hind legs. But, as you can see, the heart puppeteer is strapped into the puppet in such a way that he cannot turn around to see what the hind puppeteer is doing. So it's his responsibility to set up a four-beat pattern for when Joey's walking, And for when that transitions into a trot, and when that transitions into a gallop. So I think I have to get him back to the stable. But one more thing before we go. Okay, Joey. Way up, boy. Way up, Joey. <laughs>